Here's something I uh, came up with probably a little over a year ago. Um, I work in the automotive field and I, uh, I have to troubleshoot noises on vehicles that um, on various po points of the chassis or in the body. And uh, so we have our uh, chassis ears or chassis microphones. There's a couple. There's the wired microphones. There's uh, radio frequency uh, wireless microphones um, currently available. I thought I'd try something different. I uh, I have the I have the uh, wireless radio frequency ones, and I always run into trouble with static if I go into a certain area. And um, so what I decided to try was taking a Bluetooth transmitter, hooking it up to one of these standard uh, chassis microphone clips, and seeing if it would do a, do a job. Actually, help me troubleshoot. What I'm gonna do is I this one's already one I built a long, oh, about probably a year ago. I'm going to pair it with my jam box here to show you how it works. Jam box is in pairing mode, waiting for device to connect. Well, it doesn't have to be a jam box. It can be uh, any Bluetooth receiver, even the vehicle's uh, Bluetooth audio system. If it has a Bluetooth capability, you can use that and use the car speakers as a as a um, as a as a listening device what I have here now is this microphone has been paired to the jam box and as you can see there's a slight bit of latency on the signal by the time it transmits from the transmitter to the receiver but I don't see that as a problem so if I have this mounted somewhere in the, in the chassis and it's uh, a part that's making noise while I'm driving it'll pick it up and transmit it to my my receiver and you can have wireless headset whatever you want stick around I'll show you how to make one up okay, let's take a look at what parts we, we need to make one of these I chose to, to purchase um, the wired microphone there's a bunch of them on the, on the, online available uh, under many different brands um, you could take a go to Radio Shack or go to an automotive supply and buy a clip and then affix a microphone to it. I choose to buy one that was already assembled that was already used for that for the chassis microphone purpose. What I'll do with this is I'll cut this off, probably discard this wire, and then pick up one of these Bluetooth transmitters. They call them Bluetooth audio dongles. You want to make sure you get a, a transmitter. This basically has a lithium ion battery in it. It comes with a mini USB to USB charging port to charge up the lithium ion battery. I'm not sure how long they, they stay alive, but I, I'm sure it's pretty good. With the 1 inch uh, stereo, stereo plug, what I end up doing is probably the most uh, difficult part of the whole job is to splice the mono cable from the microphone to carefully separate the two right and left channels and uh, join the uh, right and left positive and negative together and then the, the shield for both goes around the shield to the uh, to the mono microphone. Also I chose to use PVC piping in this case about oh gosh I guess it's about two and three quarter inches long this piece of pipe. I drilled a uh, hole there's a little taper right here that's basically going to go onto the uh, onto the the clip like this with a screw. I cut the screw down three quarter inch. This is a 1024 with a a nylon lock nut in there, and that's the uh, the hardware part of it. After that's all tightened up and bolted in, and I get my uh, I get my wires connected. This just slides in. It's got like a it's got a uh, like a soft rubber coating on the outside, so it just slides right in. I just slide it in just enough so I can access the on-off button. It stays in there pretty snug and uh, nice little setup. Okay, now what I've done is I've uh, taken my piece of PVC pipe and attached my uh, my nylon lock nut and screw little 
takes a little bit of effort to get that in there and lined up. A little screwdriver on an angle kind of holds it and then snugs it up with the, with the wrench. And pretty secure there. Now I have my my microphone ready to go. I just have to wire it in. I left about four inches of, uh, of lead coming out of my microphone. So the original lead comes out the back of this part of the clip, runs down the side and into the uh, into the PVC pipe and about four inches protruding out the backside. This is probably the, uh, the most tedious of uh, processes here. I don't know if you can see that, but on the uh, when I cut the plug off of the uh, Bluetooth transmitter, we have uh, three wires. We have the common, which is the copper color. We have a red which I don't know if it's right or left, and then we have a green. Those wires are all insulated. It's not like a coax where it's got it's shielded with uh, two wires inside. These are all, all the two, right and left, are, are shielded with uh, like a nylon coating. So we need to get that off of there. I already took the coating off the red wire. All you do is take a little portable torch and just very gently come up to the wire that you want to strip and it peels that uh, that nylon right off. Now these two what I would do is tie the two, uh, the red and the green together that's going to go to the center lead of my microphone and then the copper lead will go to the uh, coax of the microphone or the, the shielded wire. Now here's the, the tricky part um, I took the uh, red and the green wire from the transmitter and after I carefully strip back the white center wire here on the uh, microphone tied the red and the green together and a little just a very light amount of solder on there or if you have a real small crimp that'll work too and then I joined the uh, the copper lead which was the common for the uh, receiver to the copper lead that came out of the, uh, the shield for the uh, microphone what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some heat shrink on there and try to make a type of a strain relief so it's not being pulled on. Okay, now what I've done is I've put a little heat shrink over those uh, over those solder connections, as you can see right here and here. Before I, uh, I heat shrink it and make it solid like a strain relief, I'm going to test it out. What I had done with this one, as you can see, is basically folded them over and heat shrunk them and then went ahead and uh, tucked it in the back side here out of the way. So I'm going to test this one out. So I'm going to press and hold. Make sure it's charged first, obviously. Now it's in pairing mode. I turn my put my jam box in pairing mode. Jam box is in pairing mode. Waiting for device to connect. There it is paired. And I'll just uh Tap it, see. You can see the microphone's working through Bluetooth. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, seal that up and stuff it inside the uh, PVC. After you have the uh, unit all um, heat shrunk and and sealed, now let's just go ahead and place your uh, since it's a, a snug fit, place your uh, rubber coated receiver right into the uh, slide it right into the PVC pipe, obviously, so you can turn it on and then just tuck your wire anywhere you can find a spot here, just like so. And again, we'll test it. I'll go ahead and power it up. Put it in learn mode, press and hold till it gets a red and blue flash. Turn on my jam box. Jam box is in pairing mode, waiting for device to connect. Just connected. There's our uh, there's our chassis here ready to go. Try that out, see if it works for you. 
I've already used it on a couple of vehicles in my uh, field travels and uh, found it to be very useful. Thanks for watching.